Hi guys, this is lesson number 51 from our Coral Draw Training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful sun rays background in Coral Draw. This type of beautiful vector background you can see in the design layouts and in the advertisements. Here basically we have only two objects. One is triangle and one is square. Triangular object we stretch up and rotate it by using transformation docker and simply we apply gradient background and transparency to achieve this result. So let's see how it's done. Zoom tool, zoom to page height and this is how we center our page. In the first thing we can create rectangular shape to draw background with a page size. Double click on rectangle and here we have. If we want to add a gradient color we can go to the interactive fill tool and here we have fountain fill. Currently applied fill is linear. If we want we can change the mode to elliptical and this is how we have. Now let's create the sun rays. Here we have polygon tool. Click and drag to draw just simple polygon and by default we have five sides. Here we can reduce. Let's make it three and this is how we have triangle. It's very simple. We are not going to convert to curve or edit. We will leave it as it is. Mirror vertically. Resize this way and we can stretch. Okay, so this is how we have object here. Go to the pick tool, bring it to the background. Let's fill it with some other color. For now we can fill yellow and here we have. There is a two way if you want to rotate object from one specific point. The easy way is to click on the object and once you get the center point, bring it to the desired location the place you want to rotate that object. Let's say from this point I want to rotate my object. Now if we want we can duplicate press plus key. So in the same place we have two. Rotate it from the corner. Give your desired angle. Once it is uh, rotated the copy is rotated. Press control D. Press control D. This way we can do. But there is another way. We can use transformation docker. It is more easy. Let's delete this. We have one object and you can see the center point is here. I will bring it back. Let's go to the window. In the menu bar click on the window. Dockers. Then point to transformation. Click on transformation. Under transformation docker we have here move, rotate, mirror. We are going to use the second option that is rotate. Click it. And here we can assign the specific angle in which angle we want to rotate this object and here we can set our center point. Right now the center point it is in the center of the object we are going to move it down. So simply I will click here. Now our object will be rotated from this point. So here we have x and y values leave it as it is we have three copies. We need to assign the angle here. So I will give angle let's say 15 then click apply as many copy you want you can type here let's say 10 copies apply so I think it's complete now since the last object is this it's not uh, our lapping it is done we are going to select all of them and simply click on weld command so that all objects become one now we are going to extend from side to side hold it from the corner as long as all the rays go out from our page area that is enough the size for the safe side of printing we can intersect now it is selected press shift key and select the background and simply click on intersect and the front object is intersected with the background now we can delete this select it press delete the object the sun rays is there but we cannot see since it is with the same color of the background we can select like this look at this we have more nodes around that is indicating that the rays are selected and if I will click on drag it you can see it's there. So let's fill it with white and now we can apply transparency. So here we have transparency tool click it go to fountain transparency selected mode is linear we are going to choose elliptical. So this is how we have if we want we can increase and reduce from the center point using this slider this way and from here 
this is how we can expand or reduce not only that if you want you can still change the direction this way from left from right but for now we will leave it this way that is okay click on pick tool and let's copy this press plus key now our background effect is ready if we want we can change the color let's select the background it is filled with the ingredient so go to the interactive fill tool and this is how it is applied we can change color from both sides from center and around we can click and drag any swatch on this square to change the color or we can click it click on this small triangle to expand the color palette and choose your desired color let's select this color if you want to add multiple color this way you can add in the rays let's duplicate press plus key okay if we want multiple color we can select the rays and then we can apply gradient instead of single white color so here we have interactive fill tool click on gradient so we can click here and choose our desired color or any color we want we can just drag it from the swatches i am going to choose some color from here add yellow just click and drag now the first color from the center is white then added color is yellow if we want another click and drag this way we can add different color so these colors are added in our front object and anytime if we want we can change the location of this color we can change the color by clicking on this square this is how we can add our desired color anytime and the background color if we want to change of course we need to select this object and simply click on interactive fill tool and it is here let's add this pink this is how beautiful background we created by using transparency and gradient fill that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you